An unforgettable, memorable part of gaming devices is their little boot up animations. I can still hear the chime of my Game Boy. The jingle from the GameCube. And the atmospheric swoosh of the 360. The Steam Deck's boot animation is pretty sweet itself. But the deck's biggest appeal is in how customizable it is, and its boot video is no exception. Enterprising hackers have been creating custom boot videos for months now, but in a recent OS update in the last few days, the Steam Deck now has official support for custom boot videos. In this video, I'll be going over how you can customize your Steam Deck with a custom boot video and where you can find the videos themselves. Before we get into it, if you find this content helpful, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel and every subscription helps a ton. In order to change your boot video, we will have to use desktop mode. If you're unfamiliar with navigating the file browser in desktop mode, you can check out my setup and configuration deck tech video, where I go over this and many other important Steam Deck tinkering essentials. So the first thing you have to do is actually get the boot video. The easiest way to do that is to go to this website, steamdeckrepo.com. This is a community made website that someone made where people can upload boot videos and you can browse and download them. So as you can see, there's some bunch of popular ones that are based off of, you know, IPs and whatnot. And there's this one, for example, which is based off of the original Valve game intro. So you can just select one and just hit play to watch a preview of it. And if you like it, you just have to download it up here. So I'm going to see one. Yeah, this is the one that I want. Uh, so I'm going to download this one and it'll download it real quick. So once you have the file downloaded, the next thing you have to do is create the folder that you have to put it in. So the location to create this folder is first you go to home then .steam, and you'll have to show hidden files if you haven't already in order to see that file. Then from here, you go to root, config, and here is where you have to actually create your first folder. So you have to create new folder and give it the name UI overrides. Make sure you spell it exactly correctly or else it won't see it. Then within this folder, you just make another folder titled movies. And that's it. This is the folder where you put your boot video. Then you just have to copy the file that you downloaded, which should be in your downloads folder into this newly created folder. As for one final step is you have to rename this file in order to let the deck know that you want this video to override the default boot animation. If you got a different animation you wanted to override, for instance, you wanted to override the suspend animation, you would name it differently. So you can type this in or you can just copy paste it from the bottom of this website here. So this is what the name of the file should be. So I'm just gonna copy this and then say rename. I have the whole thing and paste. And that's it. So all that's left is then to shut down your Steam Deck, start it up and see if it works. And that's all there is to it. I, for one, intend to stick with this Game Boy inspired boot video for now. The Game Boy was my first ever gaming device and it's just so nostalgic for me. But now that you know how to set your own custom boot videos, what are you guys planning to use? If you find anything awesome, go ahead and share them in the comments. I'd love to see what cool stuff you guys come up with. I plan to make many more Steam Deck videos, so if you don't want to miss out, go ahead and subscribe and leave a like while you're at it. If you have any topics you'd like to see me cover in the future, leave a comment letting me know. Your comments have been very helpful in letting me know what videos I should make next. 
Until then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.